Hi everyone. Hope you are fine. God has been faithful. My topic today is five things to know about the Antichrist. Five things to know about the Antichrist. My last topic was on five things Christians should stop saying. Make sure to watch these videos to the end to be well enlightened. In the history of the West, over the last 2,000 years, there has never been a time when someone hasn't been predicting the end of the world. And now, with a seemingly insoluble climate crisis, pandemic surges, savage wildfires and hurricanes, and a renewed nuclear arms race, seems no time to stop. Firstly, he is the son of Satan. The Antichrist was the perfectly evil human being because he was completely opposite to the perfectly good human being, Jesus Christ. Just as Christians came to believe that Jesus Christ was the son of God, so they thought that the Antichrist was the son of Satan. Jesus was born of a virgin, so the Antichrist would be born of a woman who was apparently a virgin but was really a whore. Where Christ was God in the flesh, the Antichrist was Satan in the flesh. In the Christian New Testament, there are only three passages that mention the Antichrist. All in the letters of John, 1 John 2, 18, 27, 1 John 4, 1, 16, 2 John 7. This suggests the end of the world should be expected at any moment. Over the first several centuries of the Christian tradition, the scholars of the early church stated to pour over an array of other biblical characters finding references to the Antichrist within them, the abomination of dissolution in the books of Daniel and Matthew, the man of lawlessness, and the son of perdition in the letter of Paul. The book of Revelation describes a singular figure as the beast from the earth and the beast from the sea whose number is 666. Secondly, he is an early tyrant and trickster. By the year 1000, the main outlines of the first of the two narratives about the Antichrist was in the place, thanks to a nobleman, Benedictine monk, and abbot name also Monte Elver, who wrote to him, the Antichrist will be a Jew from the tribe of Dan and born in Babylon. He will be brought up in all forms of wickedness by magicians and wizards. He will be accepted as the Messiah and ruler by the Jews in Jerusalem. Those Christians whom he could not convert to his cause, he would torture and kill. He would then rule for seven years before being defeated by the angel Gabriel or Christ and the divine armies. Prayer to the resurrection of the dead and the final judgment. Thirdly, past popes have been accused. By the year 1400, another narrative of the Antichrist had arisen. Now he was no longer the tyrant outside of the church but the deceiver within it. In short, he was the Pope or even the institution of the papacy and the church themselves, as the English religious radical John said. He put it this way, the Pope may obviously be the Antichrist, and yet not just that sole single individual, but rather the multitude of popes holding that position, along with the cardinals and bishops of the church. This was the position on the Antichrist adopted by Protestants at the time of the 16th century reformation. Martin Luther, 1483-1546, was convinced that he was living in the last days. For him, the Pope fitted all the criteria for the Antichrist. The Pope, he declared, is the true and times Antichrist who has raised himself over and set himself against Christ. Fourthly, he is one and many. Within conservative Christianity over the last century, Antichrists have multiplied. The Antichrist has become a general category available for application to an array of individuals, collectives, and object, objects as the demonic order. Generally, predictions of a tyrant outside a church now dominate the idea of a deceiver within it. American presidents are well represented when it comes to accusations of being the Antichrist, usually from the conservative religious right, Ronald Reagan, John F. Kennedy and Barack Obama have all been mentioned. Donald Trump is gaining popularity as a worthy candidate with ethnic scholars, Dr. Stephen Long, suggesting he represents not a singular person but a political pattern that repeats itself by taking on power to oppress the poor and the just. 
American, evan American evangelist Jerry Farewell, known for his controversial views on homosexuality, Judaism, climate change, and the Teletubbies, once said the Antichrist will be a war leader. He will have supernatural powers. Hillary Clinton is, to the best of my knowledge, the only female candidate, U.S. Republican politician Ryan Zink, who was U.S. Secretary of the Interior in the Trump administration from 2017 until his recognition in 2019. Through the accusation in 2014, she later reassured him at Trump's inauguration that she wasn't. Osama bin Laden was a favorite until his death, as was Saddam Hussein. Marks of the beast have been even discerned by some in supermarket barcodes and pet microchips. Lastly, he dies in the end. According to the Christian tradition, the Antichrist will finally be defeated by the armies of God under the leadership of Christ with the kingdom of God on earth or in heaven. To fellow so, in spite of current appearances, Christianity holds firmly to the hope that evil will be finally overcome and that goodness will ultimately prevail. The core idea of the Antichrist of evil at the depth of things lay upon all of us the ethnical imperative to take evil seriously. Whether the end is nigh or not, we should work to minimize harm and maximize the good in the here and now. These thoughts are from Philip, Arnold, and Jerry. Thank you. Thanks for watching this video to the end. And please don't forget to subscribe and hit on the notification bell for the next video. Thank you.